Hello, IGN. Man. My name is Jose Otero. The I'm here with Brian Altano. Hi. I'm sorry. I'm speechless. Let's <laughs> let's. Are you are speechless? Yes. Because <laughs> this is 13 seconds of new Zelda footage to remind us that this game is coming out in 2016. That's it. So but thanks course, for watching, and thanks we'll for be watching. back. No, no, no. Let's we'll let's let's no, see what we're, we're stick through this. this. What right. do we got here? So let's see what there is to really dig. Because so obviously Nintendo just had a new direct today. They showed 13 seconds of new footage for Lizelle, Legend of Zelda Wii U. Reminder: coming It's coming to Wii U. It's 2016. 2016. They didn't say if it's coming anywhere else. Of course, they're not going to say that. So what do we got here? What are we looking at? So we have Epona and Link, right? And we've seen this sort of. Uh, we've seen. We saw this the first time we saw yeah. the game, um, and we saw. This beautiful sort of area, um, the world map. Every time they show it, I feel like it, it's just more gorgeous and more mm -hmm. gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> so you'll see here, you know, Epona Link. Uh, sh uh, there is a shield obviously on his back. He has the bow and arrow. You're gonna see that on the other side. There's a sword, like, and it's probably one of the longer swords I've seen Link wield in a Zelda game. Yeah. Uh, not counting the bigger one sword, obviously. And what's up with this hoodie? Uh, yeah, always wearing the hood. Still not in the tunic, the clad, uh, the green tunic that we remember. Nope. Um, I also want to point out just that Epona has a lot of packs going around, uh, going on here. Which again at E3 that was the thing, and I almost wonder like is is Epona your like your pack mule? Are you putting additional things sure. into Epona? Maybe the way you would in I don't know a Witcher or something like that, or Fallout or something yeah. like that. Uh, for so. Which would be interesting because that would mean for the first time ever you can actually see where Link is car carrying the hundreds of bombs and rupees and other stuff. That would be kind of fun. Or, if, or if there were limitations on what you could carry. Because now that is his sombrero, carry. right? Uh, where? No, no that's it's a not shield. a sombrero. <laughs> that's a shield. Good try. Um, I mean, but just look at this. Like This is, again, like this, those individual blades of grass, those beautiful yeah. vistas. We got... What some we're assuming is a goat or a, what is that? I think it's a crab. There? It's some kind of enemy in the in the background there okay. over to the far right, as you can see. So we're going to continue sweeping as the camera does, and you're going to see that has to be Death Mountain, Brian. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. Like, no, there, totally. There it is off in the distance. Yeah, um, and if you look up to the mountains on the left, you've got some sort of maybe desert field areas. In the middle here, you have more grassy stuff. But, yeah, Death Mountain up there, and it'll keep panning to the right over here. Uh, you actually have a, a snow-capped mountain over here. So oh, that's true. two very distinct. We're just it's cloudier on that mountain, so maybe that could be what's going yeah, on there. This know. is kind of grady footage. We're doing the best we can. We are. Uh, if you're spotting anything, we're not. Make sure you put that in the comments. I also want to point out that on that mountain, something is there now. I speculate that this is oh, that shadowy yeah, looking in the, in the game award at the game awards mm -hmm. when uh, when they last showed this game. Jeff Keeley's the game awards. Yeah, they they <laughs> had a thank you for that. You got to make sure TM <laughs> TM. Um, you have to. The way that demo started, he was by s some sort of a a post. Yep. It kind of reminded me in some way of in Wind Waker where you start and you had to go up uh, to the elevated place. Not that they're the same yeah. place. I'm not trying to say that, but I am saying that it is a similar thing. So I believe that that has to be one of those places. Or it's an owl. Uh, or it's an owl. <laughs> a very large, large very owl. Very large owl. Wouldn't be a series first if you ask me. That's true. Uh, so there's the sword we were talking about a minute ago. So it comes straight down. It's huge. Uh, this link is right-handed. I do want to point this out, which to me is like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. Like Link, even if you saw the Twilight Princess uh, HD footage, like he's left-handed again in that game. He was right-handed on the Wii version of that game yeah. and left-handed on the GameCube version of that game. So just little things to point out. Um, outside of that, there's just not much here. Hold oh, on, wait, goats. Wait, what is that? Another goat in the background. Lots of goats. Uh, lots of goats. A lot. I mean, this, this game, I mean, are you impressed? Are you impressed by how? Of this course, looks? I'm impressed. Yeah, this looks fantastic. Let's look at it one more time. Yeah, just no. Wh so what I really love is just how everything flows. It's got this kind of uh, it, Wind Waker meets uh, Shadow of the Colossus kind of feel to it, where yes. there's a waviness to everything. There's an intricacy to the way things are animated. They aren't stagnant. Uh, everything is very flowy and watercolory, and I love that. Yeah, the gallop on on yeah. uh, opponent. Look at the grass look, there. The the butterflies looks. shooting out, which hopefully you'll be able to catch with a net. You know. I, I especially love when Alnuma first showed this game at E3 in 2014. Um, just that each individual blade of grass is like moving in the wind. And it does yeah. remind me in a lot of ways of uh, in Wind Waker, just those tiny details, like when you see the wisps of wind sort of go by. Sure, that little lens flare things. down there. like Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, now this this game is shaping up to look they're <laughs> really good. They're actually doing some cool technical tricks if you scroll back a little bit with just the, 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 four, the background stuff there. Mm -hmm. um, now, obviously, it's it's a Wii U. It's not running in a PS4 or an Xbox One or a high-end gaming PC, but there is some cool sort of motion trickery happening yeah. in the background to make things look like they go on for forever and ever. So oh, I, yeah. I really and, appreciate that. And based on what we've heard, if that's true, that you can climb any of these places, that you, if you can see it, you can reach it. Yeah. If this game lives up to that promise, I mean, man, I am so excited for this. Mm -hmm. 
this is pretty much the most we could do stretching this footage out for what is it now? This 13 seconds of footage stretched out probably much too long. But regardless, for all of your Legend of Zelda coverage needs, make sure you keep it right here at IGN. 2016.